Texas. Hello. Put my glasses. Mark, Mark. 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 Mark, Okay, a better way. Well, I'm going to tell you a joke. You know, I like to improvise, but I thought today I would tell you a joke because, you know, we got to root ourselves sometimes in the, that which is instead of discovering. Okay. There was this captain of a cruise ship who was eating dinner with his wife. They were not on the boat. He kind of um, forages for talent every now and then when they eat out. <laughs> so he saw this young magician work in this place, and uh, he went to him afterwards and said, you know, I was watching you pretty good. Uh, we got a place, we got a room on our boat, I'm a captain of a cruise ship. Uh, why don't you think about it? You ever been on a cruise ship? No, no. Well, think about it. It's a good time, you know, it's kind of an adventure. Uh, you make a pretty good bit of money, and uh, here's my card. Give me a call if you decide you'd like to do it. So he thinks about it, thinks about it, and goes, hell yeah, I'm going on the cruise ship, you know. Whatever. And uh, he called the guy, and he said, you know, I just started. I'm really not that great. He said, I saw you. You know, you're pretty good. you learn. You'll get much better, I promise you. You have plenty of time to practice. So, the ship takes off. He works this little room. It just so happens, though, that the cat a bird that lives in the back. In a cage back there. And when he's doing his magic tricks, the bird would yell things out like, Look under his hat. <laughs> Look under his coat. <laughs> cool. well, he'd figure the tricks out, and he'd give the tricks away. And this frustrated the uh, magician to no end. You know, he went to the captain and said, look, your bird is you know, just, you know, he's a pretty damn smart bird, so uh, you'll, you'll figure it out. So you guys study and study and study, coming up with new tricks, new things. Uh, your bird, look behind it. You know, just figuring one out, uh, it's frustrating, frustrating. So finally this goes on, he cannot seem to outdo the bird. And he's a little humiliated, I guess, always. But what happens is the boat hits an iceberg and it goes down in the ocean. There's the magician is out there holding on to a little piece of wood floating in the water. And the bird is, the sitting, bird is sitting over there on the other side, just staring at it. And they float around out there for a couple of hours. Nobody says a word. Not in the middle of nowhere. And finally the bird says, I get it. Where's the boat? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. A good clean joke.